Hey, how's it going everyone? For today's video, we're gonna be talking about EA's next plans for the Battlefield series of games. Since the last one, you know, wasn't their best. Battlefield 2042 was released in a state in which a lot of AAA games prefer to be released in lately, broken. So Battlefield 2042, even now, almost 8 months later after being released, is still a mess. This is very disappointing, considering the fact that you have to pay real hard-earned money to buy this game. When you sink in $60 at the time of release just to enjoy the latest of the gaming world, you'd expect a fully developed game at least. I'm not gonna talk about the fact that this game doesn't even have any forms of single player modes in it. All in all, this game is a failure. The memes about it are good though. Now we've got a lot of battlefields on hand at the moment, but EA seems to have missed on something. They seem to have missed on the trend. Which one? Free to play games. So we heard a lot of rumors about a free to play battlefield game. This has to be EA's last straw. EA was always the one to innovate, but not currently. I talked about battle royale games in one of my previous videos and how they rose to fame. And my logical speculation is that 1. They're free to play. 2 they're not broken. And when you get the chance to play a non-broken game in 2022 for free, you better not miss on it. Back to the Battlefield free to play thing. My speculation is that with EA's laziness, I don't think that EA would really release a full new game just to get onto the free to play train. What I think and as many others also state online, EA will give us a free to play Battlefield 2042. And I would add by saying that it could most probably be a stripped down version of it where you may only have access to one game mode. And dare I say that that mode would be a battle royale thing? I'm very sure that EA's plan would be to create a whole marketing campaign for Battlefield 2042 and the whole franchise with this free to play version of Battlefield. I think that with creating a stripped down version of their latest release that is free to play, they could possibly get more traffic coming over to the full AAA title. Now we do see this with Warzone where you see that you can either play Warzone or three other paid for Call of Duties. So this strategy is perfect on paper. But in order to make this marketing campaign a successful one, EA's gotta do a lot of things for the current title. Like for example finishing the game's development and fixing the servers. I'm not sure and no one is. The problem is that EA hasn't been talkative about what to expect yet. Maybe they're trying to build hype around the new coming battlefield that will be free. Making battlefield free to play isn't going to suddenly work like magic where everyone falls in love with the game again. They have to put in the effort to have people join in on this new hype train. I mean, the free to play battle royale games that exist have their own base of players that already got into the game when this concept was trendier. So, about 5 years after these games came into existence, EA is gonna have to do a lot more than just Battlefield 2042 mechanics mixed with Battle Royale. They will have to introduce new gameplay mechanics where they set themselves apart from other games in this genre. They will have to make sure that they create something new and innovative. You know, like the old times when EA used to make those Battlefield jaw-dropping games. I talked a lot about the effort that needs to be put in from EA into developing their new title, but here are things that I'd actually want to see in their new release. For example, I would prefer not seeing a new Battle Royale game if Battlefield could pull off a new concept. Like, I don't know, maybe this is my nostalgia talking, but what to team deathmatch in a narrower map be good for a change. I know that I sound like one of those old gamers who just wants to play Call of Duty Black Ops 2 all day in a very small map in a 6v6 match, but still, you should get my point by now. We need something new. And I'm not only talking about the number of weapons or the customization options in game, I'm talking about something new. You know, games just a few years ago brought a lot to the table when they launched. Battlefield was one of them, with the releases of Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1, and even Battlefield 5. So what I would love to see EA do is disappoint the haters the game, who increased in number day by day due to the lack of innovation coming from the series. We did hear some rumors online about the next entry in the series, which won't be free to play. So what I think EA is doing here, they're trying to save the current release by making it or some of its content free to play. This must put a lot of pressure on DICE who are taking care of the heavy lifting. The new release is set to revert a lot of changes made in Battlefield 2042. There is no clarification of what this means but the most unpopular elements of Battlefield 2042 are the 128 player battles and the specialists. However, a separate source suggested the original plan for the follow-up to Battlefield 2042 was that it would expand the specialist's idea further to make it similar to an Overwatch style hero shooter. This no longer seems to be the case though, with Battlefield 2042 itself already trying to tie specialists more closely to traditional class types according to fans that have attended recent feedback sessions at DICE. Although other details remain vague, Tom Henderson from Xfire.com claims that the new game is definitely slated to have a modern or near future setting. Whether that means it will continue the plot of 2042 is unclear, but it will definitely not be another historical game. However, any modern day setting risks being seen as insensitive given the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine, especially as EA and DICE have no idea how that will end and the new battlefield has only just entered production. Even historical games could be seen as in poor taste at the moment, so Activision will likely be relieved that this year's Call of Duty reportedly focuses on South American drug traffickers and that no mainline entry is currently scheduled for 2023. 
As troubled as it is, DICE still has plans for more content for Battlefield 2042, including 4 more specialists and a total of 4 battle passes. A new map named Exposure is also due this summer. The more popular Battlefield Portal mode will continue to be updated throughout the year. While rumors are running wild, there is no confirmation that Battlefield 2042 is going free to play, or even some parts of it. It certainly seems like a logical conclusion to me, given that there are fewer and fewer players coming back to Battlefield 2042 as time passes. Honestly, I'm just out of words now. I just miss the great game releases that used to deliver on their promises and hype. Don't get me wrong here. I love Battlefield, just not Battlefield 2042. I think the franchise has a lot more to offer and I still didn't lose hope because of this fail. I guess game ideas are harder to come by these days because everything seems to have been made or hinted at somewhere in some game. I think the people at DICE can still deliver a great new title in the series by making Battlefield 2042 free to play. They can have more players coming back to give it one more chance or newcomers joining the game to try it for the first time. The free to play idea is good to have players keep playing Battlefield while DICE and EA work on a new release that is supposed to bring life back to Battlefield. Now for one more thing that I have to mention. I know that single player campaigns are becoming less popular in FPS games with time, but come on. I mean how hard is it to include a well acted single player campaign in Battlefield? This part is being skipped by the two largest FPS franchises, Call of Duty and Battlefield. Call of Duty's Modern Warfare 2 reboot coming soon should in theory include a single player campaign in it. It's only Battlefield who never gave us any confirmation about anything related to the new release, so you might as well take whatever that has been said in this video with a grain of salt. DICE has a lot to do since their latest gameplay mechanics and graphics failed. Now a lot more is expected from them. And believe me, they can do it. It's EA who could screw the whole thing up here. We'll only have to wait and see what they have to offer. I would love to hear your opinions on this free to play idea down in the comment section below. And for the meantime, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, get subscribed for more, and I'll see you tomorrow with a new one. Enjoy.